What's up guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm just sitting here editing this video, finishing it up. Um, man, there's so much that goes on. Like this video is gonna be an hour long plus, but uh, man, there's so much that goes on in my day that even though this video is an hour long, that, you know, it, it it's just a very small glimpse of what even happened in the day, you know what I mean? And I wish I could bring you guys along for a lot more, but man, it just, I'm just sitting here thinking, I'm like, man, an hour long video, you know, who's going to want to sit through that, you know, but you guys said you guys want longer videos, so I'm just gonna let the camera play, you know, and and uh, you know I don't I'm not doing too much talking in the video. It's just just kind of showing you guys just how I'm chaining my stuff down and uh, you know how I'm getting in and out of a lot of these places and yeah, man, this was a simple day, but man, I'm like man an hour, but there's not really much I want to cut out, you know. I just want to keep it in there, but anyways. Um, uh, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving, to everybody. Happy holidays. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's safe. Um, but yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really appreciative for all the new followers and new subscribers. Um, definitely appreciate you guys. If you're new here, um, there's really no agenda, man. I'm just, I'm just a steel hauler that'll, uh, sometimes grab grocery loads uh, or whatever that pays, you know, um, but I haul steel Monday through Friday. Uh, for the most part, we have a consistent customer that we haul for. Um, and I am an owner operator and the truck that you see here is mine. So, um, there's really no agenda. There's no special, uh, there's no special deal here. It's just showing you guys, uh, what I go through, you know, um, kind of, <clears throat> kind of bring you guys along for the ride. Um, but yeah, there's no special agenda. I'm not here telling you about the numbers, how, telling you about, you know, how much I make. I'm not um, telling you where to find a customer like what we have. Um, I'm just simply showing you guys, um, us young guys can get out here and make a good living for our families. And um, I'm just trying to motivate guys like me you know, and um, young guys that are hungry and motivated to go out and make a living for themselves and, uh, and for their families, you know, um, I was just, you know, I'm not trying to take up too much of you guys' time, but, you know, just real quick, <clears throat> um, you know, just it, it, Sadie tells me all the time, like I have imposter syndrome, you know, and I, a lot of times it's hard for me to believe that I'm even doing the stuff that I'm doing um, and doing it in the truck that I've always dreamed of. Um, it's 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 difficult for me sometimes because, you know, like I said, coming from where I come from, it, it doesn't even make sense half the time. But you know what? I'm appreciative. And um, I think thank God every day, man, that I'm able to do this stuff. Um Anyways, guys, <laughs> enough of the talking. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, um, you know, all the positive comments. I don't see very many negative comments, and I'm sure I will in the future. But right now, you know, you guys are being very positive, And I thank you guys for that because I see that and I'm like, man, you know, that's awesome. Even if I'm having a bad day or whatever. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you uh, for coming along and if there's any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, man, have a good weekend. Stay safe out there. Um, kiss your family, uh, hug your family, uh, be appreciative for the life that you have today, man. Don't look at anybody else and, and, and wish and, and think that, you know, they're better than you. You are you. So no one can be better than you. So, um, you know, just keep on, pushing and and uh don't let anybody tell you no that's that's number one let don't let anybody tell you no thank you guys for watching just stay tuned all right good morning everybody just made
made it to, uh, to Strauss. I'm gonna go ahead and get loaded. Got an easy day for the most part. I got three drops. Um, kind of stretched out. I'm, uh, I'm gonna finish my day in Eugene. Um, but I'm gonna start Brooks, Salem, Eugene. Um, so it's kind of gonna be a stretched out, one of those stretched out days, but not a big deal. Um, like I said, I've got uh, three drops. The first drop, I'm a little worried about because last time I was in there, like I was in there with a day cab when I was renting a truck and I could barely get out of there. Like it was, it was pretty rough. Um, but I don't know, I'm feeling up for a challenge today and I figure I might as well throw the camera on because I already know that this place, the way it's designed, it's just not set up for our 53 foot trailers. Um, I used to go in there all the time with a 48 foot trailer, but I used to be able to dump the rear axle. So I never had an issue. Um, but obviously I, I can't do that today. So whatever. Uh, yeah, I'll get back with you guys right when we, uh, when we get done. I thought I'd show this really quick. <clears throat> they gave Brian the fun load today. He's four tiers high. Uh, looks like the bottom layer has like some tubing that you know they're holding down with a couple blocks of wood. And I mean, the top layer looks like crap. I mean, I don't know, man. It that's a stressful load right there, you know. And it looks like all that cut material is going to the same place, but his last couple drops are probably the you know the tubing on the bottom he's probably got at least a four or five drop load today you know but that's what we put up with on the daily man i mean it looks easy when we're going in circles with steel and running up and down the road but man like a load like that you know it just stresses the guy out because there, there's a lot to it but my load is up here like i said i only have eleven thousand pounds uh, sitting on block four, so should be pretty easy. One of these forklifts obviously can just pick up, pick up my whole load. I don't need all of them. Yeah, since there's so much tubing, I think I'm gonna take a chain over there and just wrap the whole thing in a chain. Yeah, that's something to do. I'm 
gonna wrap the whole thing together. Sounds good. Is it all one? No. It's like three drops, but yeah. As long as if I get the, the bulk of it, you know. Oh, here it is. I got lucky. Yeah, I'd, I'd much rather have this one than that one. <laughs> yeah, I see that, that. That one did not look fun. Yeah, front side back. You can bring her in a little more. That's good. Alrighty, have a good weekend. See you later. All right, guys, let's chain this stuff down and get out of here.
What's that? I'm sure you never heard of it. That's a fucking beautiful truck. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. sucks this morning. I don't know if you guys can even see it. But, uh, 
definitely rough. I know there's a stoplight coming up, so that's why I'm being super cautious, but yeah, I can't see anything. show you guys I don't know if you can even see this the shifter but I'll just run through the gears for the guys that like that kind of stuff uh, so I'm in second right now third fourth fifth top side six I'm already in the high side of my splitter, so I'm gonna shift that back, and I'll be in the low side of seven. Flip this splitter up, I'm in the high side of seven. Flip this splitter back down. Eight. Flip this splitter up. Nine, like, or the high side of eight or whatever. Honestly, don't number the gears. Like, there's, there's 18. You don't even use the first set, like the low gear. Um, it, it's it confuses a lot of people when you number the gear. Um, once you start figuring out the pattern and everything, you won't even you won't you won't really look at the number. Flip that back, put it all the way back. So I'm in the in, I'm in the big hole, meaning there's nothing else. There's not another gear after this here. Um, there's only this flip I can only flip it up one and then that's that's pretty much all I got but yeah I'll uh, I'll bring you guys back when I get to this uh, the first drop that I know is gonna be super fun I honestly I think I can get in there just fine I just really don't think that I can get out like it's it's one of those deals so but um like i don't know i feel like i can get out i just for the life of me like i feel like i've learned a lot even in the past year um so since i was there last it's probably been a year ago and I, the only reason why like i'm sitting here telling you guys like oh yeah like I don't think I can get out well I feel like I can it's just not gonna be easy so I feel like I've learned so much in the past year about length and just you know driving abilities especially when I was driving the day cab that like I kind of know what what I need to do when I when I'm trying to get out of there so like I just want to see because like if I really really feel like I can't get out of there um, I would just straight up just tell you know Strauss like hey man you know we I can't get out of there you know or I can't get in there so you know put this on another truck but I think I can get out so we're just gonna like kind of play it out and just see how it goes oh I'm so tired guys oh man I'm already in like vacation mode like you know after this long weekend I hope I get the long weekend but if I don't it is what it is but uh after this uh me and the boss man uh and some friends we're gonna go to um uh what do you call it PRI in Indianapolis so we're gonna be gone from like Wednesday to Sunday so even even then you know like I'm I'm like super in vacation mode like I, I I don't know I need to get away and I feel like I got away with all the traveling I did with the truck show stuff but I just I still feel like it wasn't enough so but all right I'll catch you guys on the next clip
I know this turn sucks right here. Hopefully the light's coming. really doesn't help this situation at all like even making this right turn up here like every time I've made this right turn I've had to take this left uh, like or the uh, oncoming lane to get my trailer all the way around so today is just I don't know it's gonna be challenging with the with the fog it just sucks so it is what it is Traffic on the back roads are pretty, pretty tame. It's not, you know, not too bad, which is nice, you know. All right, guys. So leading up to it, I'm just going slow. Uh, put some more air in the front end. About a half a mile away. Dun dun dun, right? <laughs> sides of the of the road um, you know it, they, the road's not big enough to be making turns on at all so this is the street here so let's see this is the first time my truck's been here so let's see what we got okay see it doesn't look bad going in uh, looks like they widened it out a little bit. Yep. Plenty of room to get in. Yeah, it looks like they definitely widened this portion of it out, which is very helpful. But let's just see how it plays out getting out because, um, you know, yeah, coming in, the trailer can just swoop down but going up the hill, there's no lip for the trailer to follow the lip out. It's just straight for the road. So coming in is always the easiest, but going out is always like impossible. So, and even when I get up here, man, their driveway to get into their place is super sketchy. The last time I was here, I had like 60,000 pounds on the, on the deck and they were only getting like two pieces of two. So, you know, you guys can kind of imagine my frustrations and my worries the last time I was here. So I, you know, it was all stacked up like three tiers high. And you know, their, so their driveway up here is on a slant. So it's like their house and they built a shop on the house, you know, on the, on the property. So you could either go straight into their property and then it wraps around the shop and then it wraps you back around or you can 
kind of do one of these numbers off to the right, but that, that right turn is literally banked like a racetrack. Like, the bank is so gnarly. Like, the last time I came here with that much weight, I took that bank going up because I knew I had no choice. So you could either, you either go in or go out any way you want. But I would rather go up a bank than come down the bank. Just, it's something in my head. I don't know if I'm right. I don't know if I'm wrong. But if there's a gnarly bank, you know, I'd rather be pulling it up the hill versus coming down and all that weight pushing me down the hill. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know if my science is anywhere near accurate, but that's just what makes me comfortable with some of this stuff that is very uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, so these guys are really nice in here. I never had any issues with them. It's just, I don't think they know what goes on leading up to getting to their place. That's the only, that's the only thing there. But uh, yeah, I haven't been here in a while. But like I said, once I get this drop done, all the other drops will be cake. You know, no problem. So. Hoping you guys can see this stuff. So here we are, we're leading up to the curve to the house. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang all the way to my, my left. So I'm gonna hang all the way to my left and try to follow the road all the way up. Um, hopefully, you know, there's no... Oh, all the cattle dogs out here know that I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> okay, so we'll just ease it on down this little gravel hill. I'm looking, making sure nobody's coming uh, from any other direction. But if you can see this, the slant is so gnarly. Like it's like right where I'm at right now, like the trailer is pretty much in the ditch. Like that's what it feels like. That's not everything. Making the left into their place is fun. I mean, you already, like I already have to start hanging, hanging over here to the right as far as I can, just to make their left turn. Try to get the trailers far over into the grass, you know, into the dirt as I can. Like I said, I used to come here with the spread axle all the time and I used to dump the rear axle and never had an issue getting in or out. But anymore, it's just, just stupid. There. second to make sure I'm not running over that stump. So riding the fence line. Riding the fence line as best I can. Looks like we got it. Yeah. Alright, cool. I forget which side it's on. Should have looked at that. That's alright.
just got out of there. Uh, everything went smooth. It took a little longer than what I wanted it to take, but you know, it doesn't matter. The, the guy in there, you know, he's a uh, real good guy. He's all, you know, we're just talking and shooting the you know what. So um, it took a little longer than what I expected, but no big deal. Look at the doggos. They're all pissed off. Six by six, four by four. And then I need two, four. So I need, I should have four tubes on the trailer. Yep. So we're good. Good to go. Uh, ram steel. Let me make sure I'm going to the right one. So we got two, two, four, nine. Oh, man, my stomach was hurting, man. I had to go in there and uh, blow up the bathroom, man. <laughs> Come on. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I had to, man. I, my stomach was killing me, dude. Uh, blame it on Sadie. But anyways, we are just talking about how I'm going to get out of here. He's like, man, there's really no, like, there's really no easy way to get out of here. He's like, I'm trying to think, like, can can you, maybe I can get you to go around, you know, it, it takes you out of the way a little bit, but it puts you back on the main road. He's like, but I don't think so because, you know, the turns and all this stuff is a little too tight. And I just told him, like, look, man, it is what it is. I used to come in and out of here with the spread axle all the time. I got out, I got in here. I should be able to get out of here. But the problem is, is the turn in is different from the turn out. The turn in, you have room to squeeze out into the field. The turn out, there is no room. It, you're, you're literally going into a very tight road. So, like I said, guys, I'm probably not gonna talk right here, but I'm gonna just at least bring you guys along and show you guys like what I'm about to do. Like, you know, this is, this is, I've been stressed about this since last night because I knew I was coming here. So if I can accomplish this, you know, hey, the rest from here on out, you know, I'm good. But like I said, man, this this place scares the heck out of me just, just because of this turnout. Literally, that's it. So I ain't going to really talk. I'm just going to try to get out of here.
that first set is on the I think I got it, but I'm gonna try to Gonna put this axle down. See what that does. Nah, I'm gonna do that. for sure it was gonna fall off in the ditch but like honestly thank god for the the axles that i have because it held it up but if i had any weight i probably wouldn't have tried that like if i had like honestly thirty thousand pounds on the trailer i probably would have been a little more hesitant but like i'm pretty much empty so whoo <laughs> at least i made it man at least i made it damn it so I don't know, that, that place is just, it's just a tough one, man. That's just not fun. So anyways, we're on to the next one. All right, guys, back at it. I was just watching uh, Nick. If you're not subscribed to his channel, uh, Trucking Velox 18, or Vel yeah, no, Trucking Velox 18, I believe that's what it's called. Or Velox 18, Trucking California, no, I don't know. It's either Trucking California with Velox 18, something like that. I think that's his channel. It's somewhere in there. But uh, if you guys aren't following him, go ahead and follow him. Um, he's got a lot of good information about, um, you know, the independent uh, owner-operator basically running load boards, and he's finding his own loads, and um, you name it, man. He does his, uh, he does his thing, man. He's, uh, he's got a reefer and he's got a nice uh you know flat top uh 389 uh actually his is a 22 also pretty cool truck so if you're not following nick over at velox 18 let me look really quick it's trucking california with velox 18. um yeah go over there and uh subscribe to him anyways i'm almost to my next drop uh I had to go get def fluid real quick and man the guy that was next to me super inconsiderate you know he's he's a he's a car hauler Let's see if i can get over there we go he's a car hauler and you know their exhaust runs out the bottom well um he had an older like you know freightliner fld and um you know, he's over there, uh, uh, he's over there, uh, you know, trying to, uh, get, get fuel or whatever, and, um, damn it, I can't talk. <laughs> he's trying to get fuel, but he didn't turn his truck off, right? And usually it doesn't really matter, you know, I don't, I don't care if you don't want to turn, but his exhaust is pointed like right at me and it's not like a clean burning truck at all like this thing is is smoking at idle so you can only imagine the smell 
you know, and I'm like, oh my God. Like at first, when I first got out of the truck, I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like I could smell it as soon as I got out of the truck. And uh, so I'm like, you know, whatever, who cares? I open the, the door, you know, put my card in, whatever. Finally, I ended up covering my nose to put Def in. And what's funny is like, I could see him out of the corner of my eye. I was acting like I couldn't see him. And it looked like he went, like he came, he walked kind of over to my side of the island a couple times and he like walked back and then he walked back again. And I had my, my, my hoodie like over my nose because he's like gassing the whole side of that pump out with his exhaust. And it looked like he wanted to come over and like talk to me or whatever. But man, I was like, no, nah, dude, like that's not cool. You know, you got to be considerate, dude. Like, like I still smell the diesel on me right now. Like, and I wasn't even there that long. Like, literally, I can, like, every time I move, I get a whiff of diesel. It's, like, in my nose. And, like, that's not cool, man. Like, you know, I don't really care when people don't shut their trucks off. But when your exhaust is running out the bottom and, you know, and it's pointed straight out at the next person, like, that's, that's super rude. But, uh, anyways, that's neither here nor there. Um, so I'm pulling up next customer they're they're coming up right here and uh, I'll show you guys what we get into taking up both lanes here people probably don't know what the heck I'm doing but you know I gotta I gotta swing to get into this place smoothly all right driveway is pretty steep over here but been here enough it's all good trucks no trucks sweet yeah these guys usually get right on you you know there's really no wait time if they're not in the middle of something uh, you know they usually just jump right on you so pause <laughs> should I air out on them hmm decisions decisions wait pause that Yeah, we gonna air out on them today. Got one on this side right here. Yep. See if I can just knock it over. Look at that.
You know what? Guys, the whole grand scheme of things. She dirty. was the uh, place we're going to next but usually they have the gate open on this street so I can just turn in and drive straight out but they don't have it open I don't know we'll see if they, they'll even open it for me chasing a squirrel. Please don't come back out, dog. Oh, there it is. Alright, as long as that dog stays over there, we're good. No need to run over no little poodle.
Imagine if I was driving through there already. Look at that gate. That would have been my fender. <coughs> All done. No more spill till Monday. if I can get a thumbnail. All right, guys, that's a wrap on today's adventure. Um, I'm going to get home and start working on some side projects, stuff I got going on. Uh, try to take it easy as much as I can. But, um, yeah, I'll get this video edited up and uh, share it with you guys. And let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like it. You know, do the deal, the like, comment, uh, subscribe deal. Go ahead and uh, help me out with that. I never asked you guys to do that. So, hey, help a guy out. Um, yeah, man, today was an easy day and, uh, just stay tuned for more content.